right, welcome to Photoshop. And today we're gonna to go over a concept I call toning flat. Now this does not mean that you are going to tone your image and leave it flat. It means that in the beginning, you're gonna lower the contrast and open up your shadows to get more out of it. So in this image, we have some kind of stronger highlights here and some highlights here, some weird color here, and this is in the shadow. So what I want to do is open this area up and darken this area so we have more of an even photo. Now this was just a, rant, a photo, kind of a candid image I took out in, Can in Kansas. We were walking on a trail. I didn't have any fancy equipment or lights or anything. Um, just kind of took this photo and I'm going to show you how I'll go into and tone it. Now just because this is contrast the image, I still will tone flat in almost every image that I have. So this concept is something that I do in almost everything. So we're gonna launch this over into Photoshop here. And we've got this going. Let's just open this up a little bit here so we can see it. And so this is gonna be our kind of default image and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit open image. And this should launch us into Photoshop. Now I'm going to take this image and I'm going to open it up again and we're going to do some color correction. So the first thing I got is I have this on portrait. I'm going to do an auto tone. It's better. It's warming it up. This was kind of afternoon sun. So we're closer to where we need to be. Now what I'm looking at in this image is this face right here. <clears throat> Notice our slider over here. This is going to add more magenta and this is going to add a little more yellow. Now, this color is not making the image really look any better. It's just that I would rather have an image with yellow in it than with magenta. Magenta is a really, really, really difficult color to deal with in Photoshop. I tell people, if you can do anything, don't get a magenta cast in your image because it's really difficult to get rid of. This is looking good, but it's still way too contrasty. So here's where the tone flat comes in. So you can just see, just by lowering that contrast, these kind of dark or contrasty areas, what I'm doing is basically extending the tonal range and making it a smoother gradation. And because it's lighter now, as I open and bring out this image, I'm not gonna have to bring it out as much as I would have if my contrast was really high. A lot of people are like, oh, I want this image to pop. Let me add some contrast. And then they work on the image. That's the wrong way to do. You should do that in the very end. So we're gonna then come over here down here to shadows and I'm gonna actually open up my shadows of this image. So you can see we're opening up the shadows in the image and that looks pretty good. Now I could come in here and darken my highlights a little bit, but I don't think I'm really gonna do it in this area. I'm gonna come over here to the brush and kind of darken that area. So the next thing I'm going to do is come in here to my adjustment brush within Photoshop. And now I'm going to tackle the different areas of the image that are problem. Since we're just talking about the background or these highlight areas, we'll just come in here to highlights, lower this contrast, lower this exposure. And then we'll just kind of paint over this area that has kind of bright highlights. And all we're trying to do now is just kind of even this stuff out. So it's not overpowering. Remember in photography, white is the most dominant area. So wherever white is in your image is going to be the strongest part of your image. And that's where your eyes are always gonna go to. There's just a couple areas here that I think I need to go over again, just to kind of knock them down. I'd probably clone that out just because it's annoying. And now we're gonna hit new again. And now I'm gonna go into this face and start working on that. So we'll come out here, we'll just open this face up. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be exactly right. Now notice we're getting that magenta. So remember I said I don't want magenta. So we're just gonna kind of fix that as much as possible. And so I've added some exposure. Now I'm gonna come in here and open up those highlights. And then I think I'm just gonna come in here to the rest of this body and just simply come in. I'm just doing this quick. You should spend more time on it than I'm doing at this, this moment. 
So I'm just kind of opening that whole area up. I think I'll open this area up. See how much more detail we've gotten out of that. It's looking pretty good. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit new and we're just gonna come in here to the shadows. We're just opening those up. I'm gonna actually delete this one. My feather was, my brush was really big on that. So I'm just gonna do this over again. So that looks pretty good. So we've opened, we've even this image out. We've opened this area and we're getting it closer to how we want it to look. Now it does have some cyan in here. I could come in here and fix that, but I think we're just gonna stay away from that right now. There's a couple things we could do and we're just gonna open this image up here. What I want you to do is to look at these two different images. So this is kind of the original image. Notice how contrasty and dark and horrible everything was. And when I like, tone flat, notice how everything is so much more open so this is going to be a much easier image if i have to bring this out as you take we'll just make a quick selection when you bring something out one of the problems is it also increases the color saturation so it's making that look how magenta that face is it's really horrible to deal with not something that you want to do in this image, I might have to bring this area out, but not as much. So it's going to be much easier to deal with. And by shifting everything yellow, I'm going to have a much easier time doing some color correction in this image as well. So this is our image. And so the next thing we want to do is go ahead and tone this image. You can, I'm going to speed this part up because it's going to take a little bit. But I'm just going to go through here and kind of tone this image and after that we'll come in and i'll show you how i'll add contrast in on the end The last thing I'm going to do here is add the contrast back. So I'm going to come in here and make a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to slide my contrast back over and then I'm going to bring this line back up. So I'm really just working on that dark area, not the whole image here that we're, we're darkening up. So just kind of like that far end, just giving it that contrast kick. And so that looks pretty good. I'm just going to make a stamp visible layer. So a stand visible layer is going to give me an area to sharpen so that I can come in here and sharpen this image. And I'll just use smart sharpen. There's a whole bunch of different ways I could do stuff like this. But we'll just come in here and make it about that and sharpen this image up. And that should be just about it. And so you can see you're adding that kind of punch and I could add some dynamic contrast and a whole bunch of different things to this image. But what I want to show you here is that, you know, toning flat allows you to get a whole lot more out of your image. So this is that original image. You can see how nasty it was. And here, is this perfect? No, I could spend more time on it. Um, like this hand's a little too bright and stuff. But we've got better color, better brightness, and a much more even photo throughout by toning flat. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.